So I'm John Schwartz. I'm the Dean of the College of Public Service here at the University of Houston downtown. Welcome to Vital Voices. It's a pleasure to have you here and the people online. Tell you a little bit about our university if you're not familiar. We are the second largest university in Houston. We are the most diverse university in the Southern region and we're the third top university for student experience according to the Wall Street Journal. So really proud of what we do at the University of Houston downtown and particularly in the College of Public Service. We are really about uh, a college that cares about its students and cares about its community. And so we have lots of things going on in our college around our majors, criminal justice, urban education, and social work. Uh, tonight we'll be focusing on our criminal justice part and I think this is a very important bottle of voices. It's a great opportunity for our students, our community partners, our friends, our faculty to really get to hear firsthand from the judges who affect Harris County. Uh, and so we're really excited that they took the time to be here. And I'm, I just want to sit down and hear what they have to say. And really excited to have our department chair here, Dr. Kevin Buckler, who is an expert on courts. That's his research area. Uh, to moderate the discussion. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Dr. Kevin Buckler. Welcome, everyone. Um, I'm so uh, pleased to, to be part of this uh, and get to moderate this very esteemed panel. Um, with us uh, tonight, we have Judge Erica Ramirez on the left. Uh, we have Judge Raul Rodriguez. <clears throat> and we have Judge Cedric Walker. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get get things started. Uh, for each uh, for each judge on the panel, if you could introduce yourself and in your own words, just describe why being a judge is so vitally important to our system. All right, my name is Judge Cedric Walker. I'm currently serving as the presiding judge of Harris County Criminal Court at Law Number 11. It's one of 16 misdemeanor courts that we have in Harris County, Texas, where we handle cases that are um, can result in punishment up to a year in the county jail, nothing higher than that. We mostly handle driving while intoxicated cases, theft cases to a certain amount, uh, lower level drug cases, and uh, family violence cases that don't involve uh, children or serious bodily injury. So uh, one, of the, one of the reasons our job is so important is that we are, some people say referees, or we're, we're the impartial uh, actors in the criminal justice system. We don't, we don't take sides, we call balls and strikes. You know, the advocates, the prosecution on one side, at least in our courts, the prosecution on one side, defense attorneys on the other, they have their roles, they have their advocacy, they have their points they need to make and, and uh, interests they have to represent. But we have to truly stay in the middle, uh, makes our calls and strikes based on the evidence before us and whatever decisions coming at that time. And also we play an important role in interpreting and applying the law where the lawyers advocate for a certain position or a certain thing or a certain outcome, but we ultimately have to make a decision based on what the law potentially either mandates or requires or something within our discretion. And in a lot of cases, there's things we can and can't do depending on the type of matter at hand. So well, we have a you know, very important role uh, in the system. And I know Judges Rodriguez and Ramirez can elaborate as well on, on how important our system is and, and the judicial function within that. All right, thank you. Uh, my name is Raul Rodriguez. I am the judge of Harris County Criminal Court Law Number 13. Uh, I'm also, uh, alongside my colleagues, uh, one of the judges of the 16 uh, County Criminal Courts at Law in Harris County. Uh, I uh, do the same thing that uh, Judge Walker and Judge Ramirez does. I preside over a court. Uh, I preside over cases that are brought before the court, specifically misdemeanor cases, like he, uh, Judge Walker said, involving uh, DWIs and theft, uh, some domestic violence cases um, that don't involve serious bodily injuries, like he said. Uh, we are also, the, the, the important thing about a judge is like Judge Walker says, is, is we're kind of like an umpire in baseball game. We do call the balls and strikes, but we have to follow the law, whatever the law dictates. Uh, we have to be impartial, unbiased, and we have to rule on what the law says. There are certain parts of the law that we may not like, 
there's some parts of the law that we may disagree with, but we have to follow it. That is our role as a judge. We have to follow what the rule of law is. One of the things that I also tell litigants, um, both the lawyers the, uh, and the defendants, the people that are accused of crimes, one of the most important jobs that I have is to ensure that we do not violate any of a person's constitutional rights. We all have constitutional rights. And one of the things that we as judges have to do is we must ensure that those rights are followed and that nobody is going to violate anyone's constitutional rights. So that's one of the more, uh, one of the more important roles that I also uh, advocate is not violating anyone's constitutional rights, whatever they may be. I think they did an excellent job of explaining that. I just want to add my personal touch. Um, I know every single one of us in this room has been impacted by the criminal justice system, whether we've been um, victims of crimes, whether we've been friends of family members or ourselves have been charged. Every single one of us has been impacted. Um, and justice isn't necessarily one verdict or another. Justice is a fair process. And that is what we take very, very seriously here in Harris County, is that every person, no matter their race, color, gender, gender identity, ethnicity, gets the absolute same fair process. And that's what it is um, that we take very seriously. Great, thank you all for that. We all have what I call essential life experiences um, that impact us in what we do day in and day out. And I'm wondering if you could share a life experience that you think helps inform what you do as a judge. General life experience? Yeah, anything you think is important. I can tell you a, an experience that changed my life. I was driving home one day, um, I was in college and it was nighttime and I was at a red light and I turned to my right and I saw a man assaulting a woman. And in my shock and fear at the time, I lowered the window and yelled something that I will regret for the rest of my life. I yelled at her, why are you letting him do this to you? I. It is something that I didn't know at the time. It just came to my mind. Um, but I feel like ever since then, I've been working to correct that. It was after that that I got a job in domestic violence. It was after that that I was able to work along prosecutors. At the time, Judge Walker was a prosecutor, and I was an admin. And I worked along them. And it was seeing them in the courtrooms advocate for folks that inspired me. So it was really that one defining definition where I made a mistake but I'm doing everything I can for the rest of my life to make it up to that woman. I don't know who she is, I don't know where she is, I hope she's okay, but I'm doing it for her. Well, uh, my experience uh, has been, uh, I'm an immigrant. I was not born in this country. I immigrated from this country when I was two years old. Uh, my parents were from Mexico, I was born in Mexico. So I had the unique experience uh, in I'm able to relate to individuals that come before my uh, court.